Hi guys, welcome back to the video on the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this Spurs matchday poster design in Adobe Photoshop. As I did in the previous video, I will be linking the PSD and all the assets they use for the design, such as the picture of a mince on, all textures, etc, etc, in the description in the Google Drive folder. So after watching the tutorial, you can download all of that and import it into Photoshop for yourself. So without further ado, Let's get into the video. So obviously first thing, make a new file like I did in the the last video. Gone for width 12, height 15, they're both centimeters, then resolution 200 pixels centimeter. That is generally the standard resolution and image size that I use for all my designs. So uh, let's actually make the design. So first thing I'm gonna do is add in the Tottenham Hotspur badge, press the tick. I and press I on your keyboard and then press on the Spurs badge. This is just so I can get the precise Spurs blue that they use uh, on their badge. So hide that a minute by pressing the I. Press on the adjustment layer button down here. Then solid colour. I want to make the solid colour white. So next thing to do is add in the Hugman Son PNG. I got a footy renders, a link on the description. Basically just a website full of loads of PNGs so pictures of football players without the background so you don't have to cut it out yourself. Just gonna size him down a little bit and position him about there. Want him a little bit more to the left and the right. So once you've got the position sorted, there you go. So what I'm gonna do with the Hugman Son render with it selected in the layers tab, go to filter, camera or filter. So we'll press an effects, turn up the cloudy and the texture. I'll turn them up to around 30 for each. Then also press on light and turn up a contrast. I'll turn a contrast up to about 22 and press OK. With the layer still selected, image adjustments, shadows highlights. Turn the shadows up to about 19 and then the highlights to around 9. So you can see the visible effect on the player there. So next thing I'll do, press on the eye on the Hummin Son to hide him. Then add a new layer, this little button down here with the plus inside it. And press on the text tool, drag it out to the size of the canvas. And then I'll type out my text. Match day. If I size it down a little bit, just so I can see it. So match day. All we're going to do now, press Ctrl T, transform, right click, counterclockwise. Because you obviously want the text to be uh, sideways in the design. And obviously you can size it up from here. Uh, I'll go for about 190. So if I position that about there, a little bit more to the left actually. So yeah. Next thing we'll do, add a new layer once again, pressing that button with the plus on it, shape tool, rectangle tool. I'm just basically going to put my rectangle here, size it all the way up to the top, all the way up to the left, all the way up to the bottom. And on the right one, I'm going to make it so it's the same width as the text. And it will click in, you know, it will just lock in once you reach the end of the text. So what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to turn the match day text to be white, so press on the text and then on the swatches press white. So as you can see we've got the, the match day text there. So I press the iron hung min son to bring him back in. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is add in a picture of the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So I've got this picture here. Um, what I'm going to do is place it above the blue rectangle we made, right click create clip and mask so as you can see it's basically uh, constrained to the the blue rectangle we made control t in the latest tab on the picture of the stadium size it up to fill the whole canvas like that so where it's still selected press control u on your keyboard turn the saturation all the way down press ok where it says normal with the picture still selected change it to multiply on opacity, if I make it a little bit bigger, 
I don't want to turn it up too much. I want it to be like a subtle fade. If I go for 30. So the next thing I'm going to do now is add another picture of the stadium and this is going to go on the white background and the white text as well. So I size it up to about there. Control U on the keyboard, saturation all the way down. Set to multiply and for opacity I'll put it to I'll put it to nine. So we also want it to be on the text as well. So with that with the stadium still selected, control J to duplicate it. Drag it up on top of the match day text. Right click, create clip a mask. So as you can see now the the stadium's faded on the text as well. So I'm gonna add in a it's like a paper texture. I got to do it. If I just drag that in, right click, 90 degree clockwise, scale it up to fill the entire canvas like this. So with the paper picture selected in layers tab, control U, saturation all the way down. Where it says normal on the blend modes, change it to multiply. For the opacity here, I'll put up to I'll put up to 20. So like we did do the uh, picture of the stadium, we want it to be on the text as well. So once again, with it selected, control J, drag it up above the match day text. And if you put it underneath the first clip of mask, it'll automatically clip a mask. So you can see there, the paper textures and the match day text as well. So next thing I'm going to do, go to the top of the layers panel, add a new layer, text tool. And then we're going to put the Arsenal, um, sorry, Spurs, Liverpool text. So for the size up here, make it quite small for now to see what I'm doing. Type in Tottenham, Control T, Transform, you can obviously move it over then. If I change that to the blue that we got from the logo earlier on, and then size up to, I'll go for 60. And then with the text still selected, Control J to duplicate once again. Double click. Liverpool. So drag over the text, and I'm going to select red. And then drag it over. It's just basically aligned with the edge of the Tottenham text up here. So next thing I'm going to do is add in the barges. So Liverpool barge, Spurs barge. Press the tick twice. So to select both of them, the layers tab, I'll select the Liverpool one, hold shift, click on the Spurs badge, control T to transform, and then size it down like this. Just bring the Liverpool one a little bit more over to the right, like that. If I press the left arrow, just to bring it in a little bit more. So once again, hold shift to select them both, control T. I just want to make sure that they're both aligned and I'll size them down a little bit so they're all aligned with the Tottenham and the Liverpool text. So the next thing I'm going to do is go up to the top of the layers panel, click on the adjustment layer, press on gradient. So as you can see it's red so to change that you've obviously got this you know red red square on the left. So for colour once again I'll select the uh, dark blue I got from the badge and the swatches so press on that, it goes blue, do the same for the square in the bottom right, blue, and then I can bring this top right square over to adjust um, how high up the gradient goes. So once I've done that, press OK, OK. I don't want the gradient to be too prevalent in the design, I want it to be a little bit more subtle. So if I turn the opacity all the way down, then increase it until I'm happy with what I got. So I think about 55, 54 will be good enough. So next thing I'll do is add a little bit of light in to the text, the Tottenham Liverpool text. So press on the Tottenham text, new layer, make sure the layer's on top of the Tottenham text, right click, create clipper mask. Press B to get your brush open, right click. I want it to be on soft round, size about 400. And then if you press on the foreground colour here on the left, 
then press on the Tottenham blue. I want to make it a slightly brighter Tottenham blue. I think I'll be bright enough. Press OK. Then I can brush over the top of the Tottenham text. So as you can see, there's a gradient between the darker blue and the lighter blue. So once again, same thing for the Liverpool one. Press on the Liverpool text in the Layers tab. New layer, right click, clip a mask. But the Liverpool text is already the brightest red that you can get. So this time instead, we'll get a darker shade of the red. Bow there, press OK. And then brush down the bottom the Liverpool text, just like that. So basically, we basically got the composition done on the design. Next thing you want to do now, the top of the layers panel, adjustment layer, color lookup, load 3D LUT, 3 strip look. And now click off the layers tab and the design, so just press into the blank, the blank uh, black we got behind the design. On the keyboard, shift, control, alt, E. Basically now we've made a new layer with all the other layers combined. So right click on this new layer, smart object. Go to filter, camera raw filter, non effects, turn up the clarity and the texture, go for about 25 ish for each. On the light, once again, increasing the contrast, like that. And then on the blacks, uh, down the bottom of the light, I'll turn that up to about plus 36. And now you can press OK. So, one last thing to do. Adjustment layer down here, color balance, and I'll add a slight blue to it. I'll go for about 21. So there you go, just like that, the design's complete. Um, if you found this tutorial helpful, uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and the like button, and also feel free to uh, comment your thoughts on the tutorial if there's anything you're stuck with or anything like that. And also, as I said, the PSD. And all the assets I use will be in the description in the Google Drive folder. So you can go ahead and download all of them and make the design for yourself. So thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.